Welcome to uh, this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, and uh, playing with my uh, box of radios. Um, one of the one of the uh, really unique and interesting radios is this Toshiba um, F11, something like that. It's uh, just check at the top. Yeah, F11 multiband analog radio. It's also uh, under the brand of Kenwood. I've seen it exactly the same radio, but branded Kenwood. Uh, kind of an interesting little receiver here. Uh, so multiband radio has problems with FM breakthrough, but um, I've actually plugged it on my, uh, temporarily on my NFED, and of course the FM breakthrough is not there, probably because the NFED uh, doesn't resonate well in the uh, VHF range, but uh, kind of nice. I'm going to do a little scan of the 15 megahertz 19 meter band. So this is on the NFED, 15 megahertz. We have uh, a little scratchy here. WWV. Really need to. I really need to play with that. I think uh, it's the tone switch. Tone switch. It's a little noisy, as you see. Let's try the uh, the shortwave eight. Is the sixteen meter band? So this is Spain on 17855. I can recognize the, the audio type. So Spain 17855, not better signal. <laughs> So that was a 16 meter band. I don't know if there's anything on 13 meter band. We're going to try it. 21 megahertz. Nothing much. We can try maybe the. Uh, so we got 19. We got a 22 meter band on shortwave six. Let's try that. Knowledge, if you're trying to make the knowledge. That's WWCR 13845. You're gonna try. Buy in every place. And let's try the 25 meter band. It's just too noisy for anything there. 
an interesting little radio, and um, it uh, it's fun to play with these old receivers and you know just just check them out. Uh, it's just kind of cool. Dual conversion says. Wonder how much this radio was uh, was worth back in the in the eighties when it was actually made. Uh, kind of interesting, and uh, it's the first time I had seen a Toshiba branded portable. So, uh, kind of cool, Toshiba F11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.